Hey guys, welcome back to the farm. It's a beautiful evening. I'm gonna go crop checking. You coming? Let's go. Hi puppers! Hi! 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 These are my favorite dogs in the whole wide world. They're not even mine. How was that? So uh, we're at the we're at our destination. Uh, we got a couple fields here I want to check. Uh, but first off, I need to find. Uh, 
the nearest uh, post I could find to stand my bike up. I have a Honda CRF 250R and uh, technically it's a race bike so it doesn't have a kickstand for uh, weight reduction. So that's pretty handy. So that's why I have it leaning against there. All right. Uh, can you stay out of my piece, please? So these are my peas. They were seeded on May 2nd. Look pretty good. Whoa! Look out! I'm trying to make a YouTube video. Okay, so you count the nodes. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's right. Let's call it six node. So pretty good. And they have these, they have these uh, tendrils which grab onto stuff. Look at that. To help, to help them stand. So they'll kind of intertwine. They'll just grab onto anything. So peas go through what's called hypogeal germination, which means that the cotyledons are below the ground. And the cotyledons are like the initial initial source of power which powers the plant out of the ground until the leaves take over. In a few more weeks these peas are going to start to flower and then during flowering is when they'll be sprayed again for uh, disease. Then those flowers eventually turn into pods which produce the seeds. Peas are a cool plant because they convert atmospheric nitrogen from the soil into a usable form so you don't have to put some put much fertilizer down with them. I'm losing daylight, on to the next field. Cut it out. Don't know if you can tell, but I just got my hair cut. Pretty sick fade. Shout out to Taylor, she's now booking appointments. Mosquitoes are bad out here. My haircut is actually really good. It's just the bad lighting right now. And my and my helmet hair. It was seeded May 11th. This is a hard red spring wheat, which uh, goes into the bread market for end use. So wheat saging goes from germination, seeding growth, tillering, booting, on emergence, flowering, milk development, dough development, and then ripening. So there's a lot of stages in wheat. Let's see what these guys are at. I don't think they're tillering yet. And the tillers is what produces the heads. So right now it's just leaves, I'm pretty sure. Let's stay. So all you gotta do is count the leaves since they're not tillering yet. So one leaf, two leaf, Three leaf. Once they're tillering, um, you can get tillers confused with leaves. So it's a bit more uh, tricky to stage. The weed at home is seeded a bit earlier. So I think that's just starting to tiller. We're gonna start spraying that, I think tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Okay, on to the next field.
once again, find the nicest fence post you can, or pole or whatever, to lean your bike against. We're on to a canola field now. This was seeded May 12th, so just, just after the wheat field we were at, we switched over to canola here. So this is one of our, or it is our first canola that we seeded. So canola goes through what's called epigeal germination, and that's when the cotyledons are above ground and then they power the plant until the leaves take over. So these are cotyledons here. We just had another downpour, so plants are dirty. The, the rain splashes dirt on them. So these are cotyledons here and here, no way. What are you doing? I just drove like a mile. No wonder you're so tired. These aren't even my dogs. Can I finish plant staging, please? Ow, you smushed them. So these are the cotyledons, and then they power the plant until these leaves emerge and then they take over. So these cotyledons will drop off and die. And see these, see those holes? Those are from, flea, those are, that's flea beetle damage. It's not, that's not even too major. I've seen a lot, I've seen a lot worse. You can actually see the beetles chewing on the plants. So the stages canola goes through, seedling, cotyledon, rosette, bolting, flowering, and then ripening. So right now this canola is between cotyledon and rosette. It's just the first, first leaves coming out. Quite some time yet before bolting. And then flowering is that nice yellow color in the middle of summer that everyone likes. Are you tired? No, you're not. Are you tired? Yeah, you are. I'll lead you guys back home and then you gotta stay there, okay? Oh boy. And that's it for my crop tour. I think I'm gonna start the in-crop spraying tomorrow. Meet you at home, hopefully without the dogs. Come on, we're going! See you next time.